Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of your September from the 16th to 30th. We are going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the uh, possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get no get notified on when my new video is post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific uh, to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, let's get started. Tell me about Scorpio here. Over energies for Scorpio regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, the second half of their September, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What does Scorpio need to know in love? What does Scorpio need to know in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. What the person that they are connecting with here. Right, we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. Wow, we have the Sun here and the Chariot. Wow, the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Scorpio. This person wants it all here with you. We have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. You guys have a very, very strong soul tie, soulmate connection, twin flame, okay? We have the Sun. I mean, there's happiness here, okay? We have someone here that wants to be victorious here with you. This person wants to win with you. This person wants, you know to overcome things here with you. We have the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. Seems like you guys are moving towards like higher levels of commitment here. The Fool Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. I mean, this is looking really, really good. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is there Two of Cups here? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the Four of Wow, and the Ten of Cups. Look at that. Um... I feel like we have someone here that really wants to invest in you, invest in this connection. And whoever this is, this person does not want to waste uh, any more time. Okay? Uh, so it's like, let's do it. The sun. We have the four of cups, the chariot, and the three of wands. I feel like this person wants you to accept their offer. They're hoping that you accept their offer because this person's planning a future here with you. It's sort of like one of those things where, you know, where you go, this person will come along with you. Okay? Because I feel like this person is willing to do anything. The Fool, Emperor, Aries Energy, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. This person is really serious about marriage here too. Um, more Aries Energy here. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is really serious about taking things to the next level here with you, uh, Scorpio, okay? Um, tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Maybe this is you wanting this too, okay? Uh, like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. What is this person's feelings and intentions towards Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of their September. What else does Scorpio need to know regarding uh, love here. What else does Scorpio need to know regarding love here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the uh, Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Hangman, Piscean energy, and the Three of Cups. You know, I feel like this person has really grown to love you very, very much. The more time that this person spends with you, the more in love they are with you. You know, I feel like, you know, this person wants to shower you with gifts. I feel like this person is incredible, incredibly romantic. I'm getting like, you know, kind of like a boat, like a little boat ride thing, like on a lake or something like that. So I feel like this person can be romantic like that, kind of have a candlelit dinner here. Uh, you know, I feel like there's an energy of like, sort of like also surrendering. You know, I feel like this person's kind of going with the flow and trying not to control and just, they just want to have a good time here with you. Okay, so Pisces energy with this uh, uh, hangman. We have the death card, Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with another Scorpio here. 
tell me about this uh, death card. King of, uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Cups here in the Hierophant. Yeah, the, 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 someone here, you know, I feel like this person really wants commitment here with you. I feel like this person feels like, I feel like this person feels the love from you, okay? So I feel like this bond is really growing really strong here. The Knight, uh, Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Seems like you guys are on the same page here. It does seem like you guys are vibing pretty well. The Hangman, you know, the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. You know, if there are any people in the picture here, I feel like this person's releasing all those people here and really putting in the effort with you. Okay, so this person's really serious here about what they want with you, uh, Scorpio. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, take a look at what the outcome, outcome and advice here for Scorpio regarding their love situation. What else does Scorpio need to know? What else does Scorpio need to know in love here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the second half of their September. All right, we have the Ten of Swords and the King of Wands. We have the High Priestess here and the Two of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, King of Wands and the Ten of Swords. It does seem like this person has gone through uh, some painful experiences here, and I feel like you might not know a lot about that. Okay, uh, this person could have been in the military or something like that, and this person might have PTSD. You know, I feel like, you know, this person might keep that from you or that they don't share a lot about that with you. Okay, you know, I feel like this person keeps that to themselves. Yeah, I feel like this person might suffer from depression here. Okay, so uh, just be careful. I do, I do feel like this is new love, by the way. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. It seems like there's like an instant connection between you two. And I feel like with uh, the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like you guys are fated or that you guys are destined to be together. The uh, uh, the Ten of Swords, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy, the uh, Ten, uh, the King of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person has gone through a lot of disappointment, okay? I do feel like this person goes through bouts of depression because I do feel like this person maybe has a chronic pain or something like that that this, that, that, that this person deals with or something like that. I do feel like this person might have been in the military. The um, High Priestess, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, I, I feel like this person will keep a lot to themselves. There's a part of themselves that they don't want to share with you. And it's their deep trauma, their deep physical trauma, maybe even mental and emotional here too. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, but I feel like they're really serious about a commitment here. Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and Judgment. Yeah, I feel like you guys are destined to be together here. You know, I feel like this person tends to escape to their fantasy land once they are triggered. So this is something that you might want to know about this person if you don't know, or just kind of like take it as, you know, kind of like, you know, sort of like take note and just see and watch this be a person, uh, how they behave when they, uh, you know, speak about their, uh, some pa their past here. Okay. So judgment, Sagittarius energy, um, uh, uh, Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do feel like it will turn out very, very, I do feel like it will turn out really, really well. I, I, I just feel like, um, you know, what this person has been through regarding, you know, their traumas and their pains here, I feel like that's the only challenge here, okay? So Scorpio, I hope that this was uh, helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.